Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another interesting session on use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we apply regularly in our development activities. So if you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So let's proceed further and see what is our scenario. So our scenario is like how we can rename related list and how we can omit links and filter under related list. All right. So let's proceed further on our incident table and find out how we can change or rename the uh, related list label or we can remove the filter or links which is added under the uh, record which is added under related list. All right. So let's proceed further in our uh, incident table and we will find out which related list to be renamed or links to be removed. So I will open our incident record. So suppose we have this incident record here and uh, we can see there are multiple related list added under our section, but we don't have a uh, record added. So let me try to add one record here. creator user and I will submit it and we can see our related list is submitted here all right so we can see uh, the filter related link for record and as well as we can see our uh, related list and we can change the name for this uh, uh, re uh, related list all right so how we can do that so uh, it's very simple to do uh, we don't have to code anything we just have to change uh, the configuration for this uh, related list so how we can do that we can just try to right click here over the record head uh, column header and we will go configure and we will click on list control so before doing that let me duplicate this tab so that we can see the effect under this so uh, let's proceed further for this uh, list control change so i will click on column header and i will click on list control so first what i will do is like i will try to change the label for related list so how we can do that so currently uh, name is written child incident so what I will do is like I will rename it with the child child incident I will rename it with issue so and I will save the changes okay now you can see the changes while reloading the form So we can see related list has been renamed all right so uh, what is the next change which I am trying to do so suppose we have related link under this incident number this creator user and for other reference field all right so I have to remove this uh, link as well so this link should not be present under related list section so similarly on same list control record what I will do is like I will click on omit links so there is a checkbox omit links as soon as I will click here and save the record links will get disappeared let me reload the form And you can see all the link has been disappeared from this list record. You can see previously we were getting creator user as linked record and incident number as link. And the related list is already renamed. And one more thing I have uh, tried to do. One more thing is like I will remove this filter. So we can remove the filter as well using list control. So I will click omit filters so i can omit the filter while saving this record and uh, as soon as i will try to reload this 
so i have reloaded it and all the filter is gone from here right we, we are not able to see the filter here so we can remove the filter also if suppose we have to remove filters for uh, for our process all right so this way you can remove the filter as well for a specific related list so so this way we can modify the changes uh, using list control for list layout or li related list so we can modify multiple things apart from that we can omit new button omit edit button if it is available there so new edit button is also available that also we can hide using this list control so this is add-on which i am telling what all we can do we can omit columns if empty we can omit drill down link also right so we can do multiple things here and we can provide a new new button visibility roles and as well as edit roles visibility for the button all right so this is all uh, what is there uh, using our list control all right so yeah this is all related to our scenario please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn id Thank <laughs> you.